blessed, blessed people. So today we're gonna talk about the rise and fall of three of dancehall most lyrical clash artists. They all have their own journey, but they were similar in style and they suffered similar fate. Though not the same fate, but they suffered similar fate. So people, let's go. These artists that we're gonna talk about, people, are no stranger to you all. Most of us already know them. A lot of us know their story, but this is for the few that don't know. These artists are Ninja Man, Merciless, and Gullibop people. So we're gonna start with Ninja Man people. Y'all know Ninja. Ninja Man is a very lyrical artist, you know what I mean? Ninja Man can build a song on the spot right here, right now, and win any clash. You get me, say, people? Ninja Man was a very fashionable artist, you know? He wear a variety of fashion, he change him style, him appearance, you know? Ninja Man always I give him some different kind of style. So Ninja Man, one of the artists who come in with some strange and some weird kind of dressing. More time, Ninja Man just up like him a ninja, sometimes just up like him a old sword fighter. You know, Ninja Man always just up like a some warrior, some different style. So people, Ninja Man rise to fame in the late 80s, early 90s you know him call himself the dan gargan ninja man is from anatabia in saint mary which is one of the toughest communities in saint mary so ninja man getting big break you know what i mean get a chance to elevate himself elevate him family you know ninja man was one of the best dancehall djs around that time ninja man was also the champion undefeated for a big stage show that was often kept on boxing day in jamaica this is called sting you know ninja man was the undefeated champion for many years at sting you know what i mean people but like many superstar you know ninja man had his challenges you know what i mean he had his fault. So Ninja Man had his issues with substance abuse. You know what I mean? He was taking drugs. Ninja Man came out openly and said that he was hook and crack cocaine. You know what I mean? He said that out of his own mouth and that he had made better of himself over time. You know, and Ninja Man always had problems with the law. He was always being the subject of some form of criminal investigation. He was often time in custody. So Ninja Man was always a subject of police investigation. Because of all this situation, you know, Ninja Man career eventually started going downhill. So Ninja Man decided to become a Christian. You know, to try and take himself out of trouble and to prove that he is a better man. So Ninja Man got baptized on February 16, 1997, people. You understand? And he became a Christian. Were you really a Christian? I'm, I wasn't a Christian. I was a man of God. Yeah. The last time he gave my life to God, holy and solely and a Did worker. you really? And when you know done criticize me, I couldn't take him no more. I have to come out and say, God, if I so much Christian to be, I can't take him, I walk away. But I'm telling you something now. Were you really a Christian or were you just broke? What? I needed some money. Some you can't Christian make me broke. You think a DJ make money like me? How much do you make for a regular stage show? I, 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 I tax you and come down from me. I don't make nothing. People start to call him brother Desmond now. As you know, his name is Desmond Ballantyne. Ninja man, you know? Brother Desmond now. After being in church and going on, Ninja man was actually charged again for sexually assaulting a woman at knife point in Falmo Chilani. You understand me I say people? And this is when him in him church. That incident took place in August of the same year, you know and I mean August 1997 same way. Ninja man get himself in a problem people again. So Ninja man was coming from trouble you know what i mean he was always being investigated for some crime or something him same change him life and now boom sexual assault charge which is even you know what i mean it even look good if you know say an entertainer even though most of them cases the, the artists them eventually end up bust off them cases you know what i mean and walk free but ninja man's troubles with the law did not end their people because ninja man in 1999 april was charged again for murder you understand people? He eventually won that case, but them charged him for murder one taxi man. He eventually win that case and walk free half eight people. But Ninja Man still never have no chilling him, you know what I mean? Ninja Man still find himself on the wrong side of the law many other times. Again in 2002 and Sting, which was Ninja Man playground, Ninja Man handed a firearm. 
to then see a superintendent, Renito Adams, just to prove that he is finished with a life of crime. And you know, he had most people convinced, you know what I mean? He was advocating against crime, and we love that. We love the energy there. The ninja did push off, you know what I mean? He finally done with that. Now, I know if I'm gone, and we say, yes, ninja man done with the life of crime now, and ninja man ready to start to preach righteousness. Come on, Police, come here. Ninja man did a go on good for a little while after that, you know what I mean? He keep him stayed show and make him look money. You know what I mean? I think I go on for him. But in a 2009, it's like the devil can't leave Ninja man alone. In a 2009, Ninja man and his son and others were charged and convicted for a murder and sentenced to life in prison, to which Ninja man is currently serving his life sentence now in prison in Jamaica. Yeah, peeps. So now we are talking about Merciless, you know the great warhead Leonard Bartley. You understand the people? Merciless is from Clarendon. You know what I mean? A very lyrical artist. When I say lyrical, I mean very lyrical artist which had a similar sound to Bounty Killer, which earned him a lot of popularity. So he sound like Bounty Killer and him having big talent behind that because Merciless dropped some big song. You understand people? So Merciless. Get him breaking the music about 1994. You know what I mean? When continue to deliver some woolly lyrics and some good performance to the people. He was a good entertainer. I think one of the best entertainers. Like Ninja Man, Merciless was a clash artist, you know? And they oftentimes shared the same stage, you know what I mean, with lyrical competition. Most of the time, Ninja Man coming out on top. You understand people? But one sting in particular there was when Ninja Man Ninja Man, Beanie Man, and Bounty Killer were defeated by Merciless. You get to say people, so Merciless had his place. Merciless was a big artist. I know every time the you walk with now, come out, you look so weird. You look like you left your life and see a big old blood black cell. You say you're loud, my man, oh man, look good. Why is it just on that? Hold on, hold on. Me a poor buckle of blood black cyanide. If me let out that you know it's like peace. See a pussy car we're in a battle. Ninja Man rides the back again. Are you better? Are you better? Hey, hey. Oh, 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 hey. O
Merciless also had his bit of challenges, alright? Just like Ninja Man, but Merciless in a different way. Merciless did not have much run in with the law, but like Ninja Man, he was once charged for rape, you know what I mean? The case never gone away, he was acquitted, he won that case. You get the mass of people saying, no, say, I lied and did actually tell upon the DJ. Because if him did, if him did guilty of the offense, he would have gone to prison. And he never got to prison. So that's what tell you, say, he never did guilty of the offense. You know, when a man rise up to fame, woman will frame them, you know what I mean, to get money and all kind of other things like that. Merciless was also married people, and his wife died, you know what I mean, in a suspected case of suicide, where it is alleged that she might have swallowed some pill because empty pill bottles were found. 
close to her body, so it's a suspected, you know, I mean, suicide, you know, overdose. So, you know, so that kind of mash up Merciless head to it. You understand, people? After a while, Merciless was not in Jamaica much, you know, he was mostly overseas, where Merciless was eventually caught with a firearm by the police in Florida, you know, what I mean, in a vehicle. Merciless was sentenced to 14 months in prison. After Merciless served his time, he was deported back to Jamaica, you know what I mean people? It was a very sad situation for Merciless because this sent him further down the hill. This was in the early part of 2000, you understand people? Even though Merciless was one of the most lyrical dancehall DJs, most of the players in the entertainment fraternity turned their back on Merciless people, you know what I mean? So they left him outside. They never really give him the props that we're supposed to get based on which part him, him supposed to do. And this is mainly because of the fact that Merciless get a big hype when him did, when him did war, bone to kill a beanie man and ninja man, and him destroy all of them as things on the same stage. Him are the only artist who come out and do that, and him have a title over them. So because of that, no for them, they really kind of blackball and give him a fight. On July 19, 2022, Merciless was found in a guest house and responsive, you know what I mean? Checks were made and it is found that Merciless had died in that guest house. So Merciless died on July 19, 2022, people. Many persons were alleging that Merciless had died from an overdose of taking Viagra tablets, people. You know what I mean? They were saying that he had heart failure because of that. But that is just allegation. That is not facts, people. You understand? And there is no evidence to support that Merciless was using any form of drugs at the time of his death. But however, people, it's a very sad end to a great artist. But people, now we are going to talk about Gullibap people, you know what I mean? Countryman, Robert Lee Malcolm, you know? Gullibap was a very talented artist, you know, from the Gully of Grand Spen in St. Andrew. You know, people, Gullibap was the first dancehall artist to go viral and getting big break from the internet. You know what I mean, people? Gullibap literally became a superstar overnight from just a little clip going around of him just freestyling and having fun and being himself, people. That made him into a big star. All of this was in 2014, people. You get me? The same year in 2014, Gullibap was the headliner for the big what the biggest one night show on earth sting you get massive people and gullibap takes sting gullibap went on many shows all over the world him go to england him go to other parts in europe like france germany gullibap also went many places in the caribbean you know gullibap went to several states in the united states so you know gullibap was around and gullibap made some money during that time people so gullibap even share stage with Ninja Man and Merciless where he went into lyrical battles with them with Gullibap coming out on top. So Gullibap is like Gullibap came in and him take away a lot of them fame. You know what I mean? Gullibap come in and him liquid Ninja Man, you know what I mean? Him liquid Merciless and Gullibap are the man well, for the moment. Gullibap are run the thing, Gullibap are going good. You understand the message people? That is how talented Gullibap is. And all of this was in very quick time. There were some persons who even said that Gullibap is possibly better than Vibes Cartel with lyrics. Cause you know Gullibap was good at making songs on this spot for the particular situation, just like Ninja Man. But similar to Ninja Man and Merciless, you know Gullibap had his challenges. Gullibap was hooked on drugs like Ninja Man. You know Merciless did not knowingly have a drugs problem. You mostly alcohol, but Gullibap had cocaine issues and Gullibap had alcohol issues, people. So Gullibap had his addictions. You understand the message, people? Gullibap, coming from the gully, you know, he had women around him that were only there for the money and the look of fame, the look of clothes that was there with him. Because most of the women that talked to Gullibap that was in a relationship with him were people who wanted to become an artist and wanted a break for themselves in the music. So everybody had ulterior motive. You know, after a time, people, Gullibap get abusive and him start to abuse him girlfriend. You know what I mean? Him start to disrespect them. You know what I mean? People him start to treat them bad. So, peeps, Gullibap was very disrespectful to everyone, including family members, close friends that caused 
even persons that really cared about Gullibap, you know, persons who had his back eventually turned their backs on him based on his attitude and how he dealt with situations. Gullibap eventually ended up right back in the gully where he started people you know what i mean a lot of mismanagement a lot of bad decisions you know what i mean a lack of vision a lack of proper judgment all of these things led gullibap right back down the hill to where he had started gullibap eventually became ill people he got sick you know what i mean and at this stage he had to be asking for donations from people just to survive and to buy medication you understand the mass of people and even though gullibap had a bag on his side a bag which was set there by the doctors to collect the waste from his body because he was having issues with his kidney gullibap still broke out of the hospital whenever he was admitted there you know what i mean people because he wanted to go back on the street he wants to take his drugs you know what i mean and he wants to drink his alcohol even though he was in that bad state gullibap eventually died on the 31st of october 2023 from his illness but you know the sad part is people even though gullibap made so much money during his time of fame he died leaving nothing for his family members to rock on, you know what I mean? But them can go back to the cell or something or if do something towards him funeral. You know, they will have to do this based on contributions. You understand people? So we need to put our house in order whilst we have life. Thanks for watching my video. Like, share, subscribe. God bless you.